At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of healthcare to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. Yes, a little earlier this evening, we were dispatched for a report of a structure fire. Upon arrival, we didn't find, in fact, a small residence that has actually a detached garage and another structure in close proximity. There was smoke showing from the front of the building. Upon the investigation at 360, we found heavy fire conditions at the rear. And we also found a number of dogs both in and outside the residence, a total count of 12, as well as a handicapped uh, resident confined to a wheelchair. So our early stages were life safety, removing the, uh, the patient or the occupant from the area, as well as capturing the dogs and removing them from the residence. The resident herself was not really wanting to leave the area of the fire? Sure, she was uh, very reluctant to leave the area of the fire because of the fact that she has a very close attachment to her 12 dogs. And uh, But after some convincing and the fire quickly surrounding the area where she was located, she did uh, relent, came outside, which allowed us to remove the dogs safely and put them with her. And then it also gave the crews the opportunity to go in and rescue the remaining dogs. All 12 were removed tonight, and it appears, if anything, there's just some small injuries to the dogs. You yourself were first on scene, so it was kind of you alone doing this. Uh, just for the first few minutes, but a, a Nye County Sheriff's deputy arrived on, on location and started assisting me with the dogs. We had already got the, the patient or the occupant to a safe location, and the engine company was coming down the street. So it really worked out well. They used a minimum amount of water to extinguish the fire. They made a real good aggressive interior attack, and uh, the exposure uh, structures were protected very easily. This is her main residence? It is. She actually is the owner of the property. She lives in that portion, and then she rents out the remaining. And then all the dogs, you said some of them had a little bit of injury smoke inhalation? Well, pugs in general have some respiratory issues in general. And so subject to that heat and the smoke that, within the structure, they were a little problems breathing when they came out, but they seemed to recover relatively quick. We also had the animal control was here with us assisting, so they're keeping a close watch on them this evening. Now they were looking around the area for loose dogs? Yeah, there was one that was unaccounted for, unaccounted for for a short while, but we did in fact find him. He was, just, uh, he was black in color, which kind of blended into the environment. There you go. Do we know what started the fire? Yes, it appears that it's a malfunction of a piece of equipment, electrically related, uh, located between two large appliances. And Valley Electric is on, so you know, are they going to be able to isolate that area and she's still going to be able to live in the residence? The area's already been isolated by the fire crews. They went in and secured the power to that particular structure. And her herself is on an oxygen tank, right? Yeah, she was on a portable oxygen. It was affixed to her wheelchair. So is she going to be able to return then? She will not be able to return to this structure this evening. So we're working with her now to see if she needs assistance.